Here is a challenging geometry problem appropriate for 8th, ninth grade students. So give this problem a shot. Uh, read the question carefully. Give this problem a shot and see if you can solve it. If you cannot solve it, I will solve the problem for you. The video uh, of the solution follows. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. Points P and R are on side AC and point Q is on side BC. Moreover, BC is equal to BP is equal to QP is equal to QR is equal to AR. Find the measure of angle BAC. The question is very clear. Um, we need to find the measure of this angle this angle and we know a bunch of things we know this side is just as long as this side and these sides are also congruent that's what we know and we need to find the measure of this angle so let's go ahead and see what we can do here I'm going to call this angle X and I'm trying to find it. I'm going to call this angle X. Now if this is X, since ARQ, triangle ARQ, triangle ARQ is an isosceles triangle, this has to be X as well. Now, if this is X, this is X, this angle is going to be 180 minus 2x, so this angle will turn out to be 2x. And you probably want to do the math yourself. If you do a little bit of algebra, you're going to find that this angle is 2x. And what do I mean by a little bit of algebra? This angle is 180 minus 2x. 180 minus 2x. 180 degrees, of course. So if this is 2x, if this is 2x and triangle QQRP is also isosceles, that makes this angle 2x as well. This is 2x, this is 2x, this is going to be 180 minus 4x because three angles of any triangle add up to 180 degrees. So this is going to be 180 minus 4x. So let's write it down here. Hundred and eighty minus four x. Well, what's the measure of this angle? This has to be from hundred and eighty, all these three angles add up to hundred and eighty. From hundred and eighty, if you subtract this and this you're gonna get 3x do the algebra I'm gonna do it right here what we're doing is this 180 minus 180 minus x minus x and that turns uh, sorry made a mistake here minus 4x minus x that turns out to be 3x so this is 3x, 3x, this is also 3x, 3x, excuse me, let's put it right here, this angle is 3x. Now, if this is 3x, this is 3x, this angle has to be 180 minus 6x, 180 minus 6x. Why? Because three angles should add up to 180. If you know the measures of two of them, you can find the third one by subtracting the sum of the other two from 180. If this is 180 minus 6x and this is 2x, we can easily find this one. And you actually can see a pattern xx, 2x, 2x, 3x, 3x, probably will be 4x, 4x. So let's find this here. This angle is going to be 180, 180 
minus 180 minus 6x minus 2x. And that turns out to be 4x. Okay, so this is 4x. And because triangle B, P, C is isosceles, this has to be 4x as well. Now, now according to our question, AB is equal to AC. So this angle should be 4x as well, this whole angle. Let's use a different color. This angle has to be 4x if this is 4x. Why? Because AB and AC are congruent. So this tells me this has to be x. Now, we're almost done. All we need to do is solve for x. And how do we do that? Let's do it here. x plus 4x plus 4x has to be 180. x plus 4x plus 4x has to be 180 because three angles of a triangle add up to 180 and that turns out to be 9x is equal to 180 therefore x is equal to 180 divided by 9 is equal to 20 degrees that's my answer x, this x, or this x, it really doesn't matter, x has to be 20 degrees.